Hi friends, today's video is all about ornaments, ornaments, ornaments. There's so many different varieties according to what type of style you like. Rustic, shabby chic, traditional, fun, movie themed. Let's just jump right in. I hope you enjoy what I have for you today. For this DIY, I'm using Sculpey Air Dry Clay. It's got a couple of wood rounds from adult, from Walmart. Um, a silicone mold. I'm going to be using the deer and the tree, and then stencils. Uh, these are Martha Stewart. I found those at Michaels. So first, I'm going to go ahead and get some clay put into my mold. With my clay softened up, I get it pressed into my silicone molds. And I didn't think there would be any issue with the tree, but I was kind of worried about my deer because of the antlers. When there are little small spaces, sometimes the clay will tend to break off. But once it's pulled out, I just used a little metal, actually a cuticle tool, and I pull away the excess clay and kind of get everything put back into shape. I found this mold on Amazon. It came in a bundle. I will link it in the description box. With my clay pieces fully cut out, I'm using white on one side of both wood rounds and then I'll have black on the opposite side. The plan is to use my stencil to have a um, silhouette image of the tree and the deer on one side and then a dimensional clay version on the other side. I'm using the stencil brush I found at Dollar Tree to pounce my white color onto the black side of the wood rounds. So for my dimensional side, I want to use the actual colors that they would be in real life. So I have Kelly Green for my beautiful tree and then a real brown from Apple Barrel for my deer. And I used, um, I believe, Burnt Umber for the antlers. To give a snowy effect to my tree, I'm gonna add a bit more of that matte white paint, and then I'm going to add pure gold uh, brushed onto both clay pieces just to further bring out the details of each. To add a hole for the hanger, I use one of the miniature screwdrivers that Dollar Tree sells in a little set. And I'm going to attach my clay pieces with Aileen's Tacky Glue.
And to just give this a really nice finished look, I'm adding this red uh, striped twine all the way around the edge of both pieces. And then I'm going to use that same twine as a hanger. And then I rub in just a little bit of antique wax with a wet napkin just to give a little bit more of an aged vintage look. And here they are complete and hanging up. I absolutely love these. The double sided effect where one is a silhouette and one is a dimensional look. Such beautiful classic images of winter and Christmas. I think these make beautiful ornaments. Let me know what do you think of these two. Okay, for these ornaments, we're going to use the Santa color your own ornaments, some of the black and white vinyl paper, and the black and red buffalo check vinyl paper. And I'll just add antique wax to the back of each ornament. And then I'm just reopening the hanger hole using the mini screwdriver. And I covered a third ornament in the pink glitter vinyl that Dollar Tree has. This is a really cute option for a Candyland type theme. And then just adding white pom-poms from Dollar Tree. So there is a dimensional effect to each of the ornaments and they're not just flat. And here they are, hanging up, so adorable. Different patterns, but that same jolly guy. I'm using snowflake tissue paper and wooden snowman ornaments, all from the Dollar Tree, along with white matte paint for this DIY. Okay, so I'm going ahead and pull the nose off. Okay, I'm just using a regular white matte paint from Apple Barrel. Okay, so I've got a small piece of this beautiful tissue paper cut out. So I can Mod Podge it onto one of my snowmen. I'm using just a black matte paint from Apple Barrel to paint in the hat on both sides. And then I'll move on to tracing out his face so he can turn into Frosty the Snowman. This season already, my six-year-old has been watching Frosty the Grinch and the Polar Express nonstop. So I have to make a Frosty the Snowman ornament to make him happy. I'm using acrylic paint markers just to go over all of my pencil lines. And then to make the scarf, I'm just using a piece of red and white twine that I'll just like crisscross over so one piece hangs on the front and the back.
using some clay flowers I had left over from another project. I just painted them a light pink and then put a little blue dot in the middle so it really resembles the flower in Frosty's hat. With my Mod Podge dry, I go ahead and sand the edges on my tissue paper off and I did apply the tissue paper on the front and back. And here are two options for the Dollar Tree wooden snowmen. I think these are so adorable. Some of your ornaments you could leave the little carrot nose on so it looks like the silhouette and then others, you know, you could draw in a face like I've done here or just apply some tissue paper, whatever you would like. For this DIY, I'm using Sculpey Oven Baked Clay. I purchased this at Walmart, but you can also find it at Michael's or just about any craft store. Got some red and white twine, some paint markers, white paint, and then some extreme glitter hologram paint. Okay, so I just broke off a nice chunk from the top. I'm just gonna break this in some manageable pieces. I'm gonna get these softened up. I have wax paper here, so I'm gonna get these softened up so I can get these shaped into what I want. Okay, I have it softened up and have them rolled into balls. So it's about as close as I'm gonna get to um, the same size. So now that I have them rolled up, I'm just gonna squish down. With both pieces formed, I'm taking the end of a bamboo skewer and I'm just going to put a hole in each of the pieces so that I'll be able to uh, run a hanger through these. And once that's is completed, I'm gonna pop this in the oven. You're supposed to use the baked clay at 275, um, 15 minutes for every quarter of an inch. So I put these in for um, about 20, 25 minutes to make sure that they were thoroughly baked. Once they had completed baking and were thoroughly cooled off, I used a white matte apple barrel paint to cover them. And once the white paint was dry, I decided to use more apple barrel matte paint. I used a bright green or Kelly green and bright red instead of using the paint markers since these were larger than the candies I'd made before. I felt it would be better to use the paint and a brush rather than the fine tip of the paint marker. Once all of my colorful lines had been added, I'm going to apply this extreme glitter so there is a nice glistening sugary look and then I use matte or gloss Mod Podge for a beautiful top coat and then I just added twine that was uh, in coordinating colors for each so these could be hung on the Christmas tree. And here are my completed large starlight mints. So cute, sparkly, and yummy looking for the Christmas season. Traced out an image of a gingerbread man. I've got the um, 
scroll wrap and silver and then some rick rack and my small sewing kit so what i want to do is make a gingerbread man um with this faux leather from dollar tree I folded the material over to cut it out so both the front and the back would be the exact same size. With my pieces completely cut out, I'm using straight pins just to hold them together so I can start stitching. And I'm using one of the larger needles that I have and just some plain white thread to start my stitching. I'm going to stitch about halfway and then I have glass pearls that I want to add as the eyes and some colorful glass beads that I want to add as the little candy buttons. With my buttons added, then I started to add my fiber fill. I couldn't sew on the pearl eyes because the holes are just too small in the pearls. So I'm gonna have to use um, a bit of glue to attach those, but I at least wanna get the head and one side of the arms and legs fully stuffed, and then I'll continue with my stitching. And just a side note, the texture and smell of this faux leather is like a pair of sandals. According to the box, it's a vinyl, a poly vinyl, but it really does have the appearance of leather. I think it looks really beautiful and I love the tone of this brown, especially for these gingerbread men. So initially I'm using this Aileen's Fabric Fusion, which is a fabric glue, but I end up wiping it off and just adding Gorilla Glue and that seemed to work. To add the faux frosting detail, I'm using more of that fabric fusion and the small rickrack ribbon that I found at Hobby Lobby. To give him a bow tie, I'm using this ribbon I found at Old Time Pottery. It has this beautiful off-white look and i think that looks like more vintage than having like a stark white so i just pulled the wire out of the sides and i'm just gonna hot glue this down the vinyl 
faux leather to me kind of makes it look kind of like a modern gingerbread, but then the exposed stitching and the colors and the bow tie and no mouth kind of makes him look kind of primitive to me. So I just overall, I'm really loving the look of this gingerbread man. And now to add a hanger, I'm just using this gift trim from Hobby Lobby. It has that same like off-white look. It's all twine and it perfectly matches with his bow tie. So I'm just going to hot glue this to the back so that he can be hung on the tree. And here he is all hanging up. And of course I had to make him a wife. I think they look absolutely adorable. For her eyes, I was able to sew on the same beads I used for the candy buttons. And I think they just came out so beautifully. I have so many more ideas with this faux leather. I just love how these turned out. For this DIY, I have several porcelain ornaments from Michaels. I picked these up a few years ago, and as I was going through my Christmas stuff, I decided, you know what, let me go ahead and just do something with these. They're really pretty. Um, I thought these gold rub-on transfers would look really beautiful, so I think I'll choose some of these that are kind of faith-based, faith, hope, joy, and go ahead and get those rubbed onto these pieces. And I'm going to add pure gold around the edges of one of my crosses just to add a little variety to the look of the ornaments. So if you don't like the gold or if you can't find them, Dollar Tree also has this rub-on sheet that, you know, gather family, joy, spirit. Any number of these um, would be really beautiful on an ornament. And they have those clear ornaments that you can either put a little paint in. I've seen some crafters do that or add a little faux snow and pick, you know, whatever word that you want to add in the front. Just, you know, whatever your imagination can think of, you know, you can make that happen. And here are all four. I just grouped them together like this on the tree just for the video, but um, overall, I love the way they turned out, although hope is a little slanted. I had hoped all of my rub -ons would turn out beautifully, but it is what it is. I think they still look great. Let me know what do you think of these and all of the ornaments I made in this video today. And here's another look at the other ornaments from this video. These were so much fun to create. I would love to know, do you have a favorite? Are you gonna try any of these? Are you inspired to do something similar? Let me know. I love to read your comments and I'm so thankful for you. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. It's totally free and I would love to have you. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas holiday. God bless you.